families and children. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for joining us in episode number three of Play and Learn. My name is Mays. I am an early child educator. I work at Early on Lemones Community Services. Today we are going to read a book which is called What Makes a Rainbow by Betty Schwartz. And we are also going to do two activities. We can see colors everywhere. So how about singing this song named These are the colors over you. This song is by Jeberi. Red and green and yellow and blue. These are the colors over you. Red like an apple, green like the tree. Yellow like the sun and the blue like the sea. Red and green and yellow and the blue. These are the colors over you. I hope you like this song. The next song is Rainbow Dancers with the Scarves. So we are going to do it with all these colors. It goes like this. Rainbow dancers, let's get ready. Hold your scarf nice and steady. You will hear the colors of the rainbow. Listen for the time of you to go. Shake red, shake orange, shake yellow, shake green, shake blue, and shake purple. Red scarves turn around. Orange scarves up and down. Yellow scarves reach up high. Green scarves fly, fly, fly. Blue scarves tickle your nose. Purple scarves touch your toes. Everybody dance around. Swirl your scarves up and down. Our colorful dance is at the end. Thank you, thank you, all my friends. So since I shared rainbow song with you, how about read this book to you. What makes a rainbow? By Betty Schwartz. Little Rabbit and his mother were sitting under a big red flower petal. Look, said Little Rabbit, it stopped raining. Yes said Mama Rabbit. Soon we'll see a rainbow. What makes a rainbow? asked Little Rabbit. Why don't you ask your friends? said Mama Rabbit. Ladybug, what makes a rainbow? asked Little Rabbit. Red, said Ladybug, gently closing her red wings. You need red to make a rainbow. Mr. Fox, what makes a rainbow? asked Little Rabbit. Orange, said Mr. Fox, swishing his orange tail. You need orange to make a rainbow. Little Chick, what makes a rainbow? asked Little Rabbit. Yellow, said Little Chick. Fluffing her soft yellow fuzz. You need yellow to make a rainbow. Mr. Grasshopper, what makes a rainbow? Asked Little Rabbit. Green, said Mr. Grasshopper, rubbing his long green legs together. You need green to make a rainbow.
Blue bird, what makes a rainbow? asked little rabbit. Blue, said the blue bird, ruffling hair, pretty blue feathers. You need blue to make a rainbow. Butterfly, what makes a rainbow? asked little rabbit. Purple, said butterfly, spreading her delicate purple wings. You need purple to make a rainbow. Look the nice rainbow here. Wow, very nice rainbow. Well, said mama rabbit to little rabbit, now you know what makes a rainbow. Rain colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and sunshine. The end. I hope you liked the book that I read to you. How about sing another song, rainbow song? Ready? It goes like this. First comes red and orange too. Shiny yellow, green and blue. Purple and so the pretty rays. Only seen on rainy days. First comes red and orange too. Shiny yellow, green and blue. In the beginning of this video, I mentioned that we are going to do two activities. The first activity is to learn how to make a nature paint brush and exploring primary and secondary colors. Right, now so let's I'm going see. to uh, show you how to make uh, a nature paint brush. So what we need for this activity? We need a stick and we need uh, branches, three branches. We need rubber band and scissor and paper and we are going to uh, explore now also uh, the primary colors and when we mix two primary colors they create uh, one secondary color so the primary colors are red yellow and blue so first let's go outside and do uh, and find the sticks and nature uh, tree branches. Let's find some sticks now. Oh, here we find some sticks. Might be good for the paint brush. Now we are going to find tree branches. some and others can help you this is enough. okay now we have our stick and we have the branches so what we will need uh, first we take the stick and wrap the rubber band to twice around it We try to hold it and slide all the three branches inside the rubber, like this. So the kids, for you kids, maybe parents can help you to slide all the branches around the stick. And if you want to make sure that the branches are good around the stick, maybe we can put the second, oops, the second rubber band. Like this. So the stick is the, the brush, the paint brush handle, and here is the brush. We can use it to paint. 
So first, now I'm going to uh, show you how to create the secondary colors. So first, I'm going to start to paint with yellow. It's very fun to paint with a natural paint brush. And then I will use the blue. La 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 la. <laughs> and then I will put here red color. As you can see, now we have yellow, blue, and red. With another brush, I'm going to mix two colors. I will start to mix red and yellow to create secondary color, which it is orange. Now we are going to see together. So I take yellow on this side and I take some red and start mixing together. See, now we create orange from yellow and red. The second I'm going to mix yellow with blue. So these two primary colors we are going to create green so the secondary color from mixing yellow and blue blue is green the third secondary color when we mix blue with red to create purple painting is so much for fun for children and for adults too so here the primary colors with secondary colors so we have yellow blue and red primary colors and then we have secondary colors orange green and purple and now with the nature paint brush we are going to mix all the colors la 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 it's really fun the second activity for today is sorting colors with cardboard rolls. Let's first learn what are the benefits of this activity. First, fun, interactive and motivating. Second, great for fine motor development and hand-eye coordination. Third, self-correcting and problem solving. Fourth, language skills, naming, labeling and pronunciation. Fifth, reinforce and extend learning colors. What so let's see need uh, for this activity, sorting colors with cardboard rolls and pom-poms. So first we are going to paint the cardboard uh, rolls with uh, different colors. Uh, optional, you can color with two or three or five colors. It is up to you and um, it is up to what you have at home what colors you have at home so for this activity i chose uh, five different colors i chose uh, green red yellow blue and brown and we need uh, the cardboard rolls and we need water and we need the brush and we need the tapes and this uh, tapes we need it when we are going to tape the card the colorful cardboard uh, rolls on the door or on the window 
and uh, then we will need pom-poms so we need green pom-poms red yellow pom-poms and blue and brown so it is up to you what colors do you have so first we are going to start with painting the cardboard roll and then then we let them dry and then we start doing the activity sorting colors okay let's start painting i'm going to start with red so We try our best to cover all the area on the cardboard roll. Let the children enjoy the painting first. And then we are going to let it dry. So after the paint dried on this cardboard rolls i stick them on the wall and uh, also you can stick them on the door or on the window by using tape i placed bowls which are matching colors with rolls under them uh, this uh, sorting activity is sorting and placing colored pom-poms into the matching colored cardboard roll and catching them in a bowl I put them here in different heights uh, as you see the red roll is higher than the green one just to add some fun uh, there are some tips I would like to give for the preschoolers at the beginning of the activity I place a couple of pom-poms in the bowl underneath the matching colors colored rolls to support the learning also arrange the cardboard uh, rolls at a height that is comfortable for children to reach let's play a little bit i grab some uh, blue pom-poms and put them like this they are going so fast some yellow pom-poms and they are going in the bowl yellow bowl for toddlers we can still play uh, this activity and i would uh, suggest to start with two colors let's say with blue and yellow and we can uh, play with uh, bigger pom-poms i hope you all enjoyed this fun indoor activity thank you for watching and have a good day bye